In a previous episode, I've shown you what came with the Dimplex Optimist electric fire that I chose for my fireplace. In this mini series, I will walk you through how I designed, built, and customized my fireplace just in time for this holiday season. Before building anything, it is a good practice to first try and give your ideas some kind of shape that you can work with. You can do this using either a software program that has its own benefits or by simply using a paper and pencil. As I had an old agenda nearby, I simply started drawing a quick sketch with a pencil, allowing me to easily make any changes along the way. With the rough idea in mind, I positioned the electric fire near the wall where I wanted the fireplace and started measuring all dimensions. With all measurements taken, the most straightforward way of starting the build was to mark the dimensions directly on the wall. This was the perfect time to get my laser level in order to have a perfectly square and perpendicular fireplace at the end. I took my time marking everything as precisely as I could and I advise you to do the same as the more attention you pay during this step, the easier it will be further on. While I was marking the position of the fireplace, I realized that I don't have a close enough power outlet. In my case, the closest outlet was the one behind my TV that I had to move out of the way. Thus it seemed that one more thing had to be marked and that is the position of the new power outlet. Electricity for the outlet had to be taken from somewhere, so I routed a cable from the TV's power outlet through a groove that I had to make using a chisel. With the groove complete, I just had to add the junction box, but before that I cleaned most of the dust from the groove and moistened it using a small sprayer so that the wall repair kit would better adhere. I wanted a cheap and easy to work with material for the structure of the fireplace, so I used OSB boards that I cut to size the following morning. To add more realism, I also used some hardwood pieces that I also had to cut to size. Now I could start assembling the components, the first one being the base of the fireplace. I used small corner brackets and wood screws to hold the boards in place. It was important to have a tight and sturdy fit, as this base would hold most of the weight including the electric fire. Using some clamps helped a lot in ensuring a precise fit. One side was done, now the same steps had to be done on the other side. With the base assembled, I did a quick test fit. All seemed in order, so before moving on, I added some padding to the bottom and also test fitted the electric fire to check if all my measurements were correct. It was perfect, so the next step was to add a layer of wood stain for protection. This completes this episode, in the following one I continue working on the upper part of the fireplace. Thanks for watching and till next time, take care.